Well, hello there, friends. It's a little bit of a complicated recipe today, but a lot of you have requested, so here it is. Stuffed duck breast with duck leg confit. Amazing. With a blueberry reduction. Amazing. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're gonna make it right now together. Well, hello there, friends. Very simple recipe today. No, 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 that's not one of those. It's not a very simple recipe today. It's one of those recipes that you're probably not going to make. Why am I doing it? Some people want to watch a little more complicated stuff once in a while. They may be inspired to do it. Some chefs in restaurants are going to be inspired to do it. But for a mom and pop that are cooking dinner for the kids, that's not it. You're still going to love it, and it's the kind of meal you would order if you went to a restaurant. And what it is, it's a duck breast stuffed with the duck leg confit and a, um, um, uh, a blueberry uh, glaze that then we're going to make with Madeira wine. So it's not the exactly, and it's going to be wrapped with bacon. So, yeah, it's a mouthful, and, and it's a lot of work to do. I got it all. But let's get going with it. The first thing we're going to do, friends, we're going to do the sauce. Very simple sauce, really. It's a, um, a, a blueberry uh, sauce. And I, I have the Madeira wine. So we're going to start with shallots. You know, as we make any sauces, we always start with some kind of onion. It could be a regular onion. It could be shallots. It could be whatever it is you want to do. And, uh, and we're going to square them for a minute. This is the base of all sauces, so it's pretty simple, eh? And uh, for herbs, I have tarragon. You don't have tarragon, you could use sage. If you don't want to use sage, you could use a rosemary, you could use uh, um, thyme, both of them together would be nice. Uh, but tarragon is really one of my favorite herbs, so I'm putting it in there. I got the tarragon right there, and I got those blueberries. Those are dried blueberries. I like to use dry blueberries so then there's not as much water in it. And let me tell you, those are they're wonderful. They're from Maine, and they're organically grown blueberry, and they're like amazing. You probably find them at the grocery store. That's where we found them. And uh, so it already smells wonderful, right? And then we're going to put a little bit of vinegar down, friends. I'm using a traditional balsamic vinegar. This one is 18 years old. That means it lost all of its acidity. So uh, if you don't have a, uh, a vinegar like this, you want to put a balsamic, but put very little, you may have to put a touch of sugar because this is sweet, you see? So it's a sweet vinegar that lost all of its acidity. If you've never tried it one time, you should. Madeira wine is also a fortified wine. That does, not, does not need to be reduced. Fortified wine, like port, like a Madeira, um, do not need to be reduced, okay? So they already reduced enough, so we don't need to reduce them anymore. And uh, what we're going to do now, friends, we're going to add a little bit of jam. And I'm using this, um, this blueberry uh, jam. So if you like blueberry, you're in heaven. And uh, if you don't like blueberry, you change it to figs. Change it to whatever you want, friends. Remember, you're not married to anything. You can, uh, well, you may be married, but not to any ingredient that is, right? So we got the, um, the jam in there right there. We're looking good. And now, friends, I'm going to put a stock. Now, this is my uh, uh, beef stock, and it's beautiful already, you see? We're going to keep a little bit on the side just in case we need it. And we're going to cook this very little, okay? Very, very little, meaning slowly. All right, so I got everything out of the way. I'm good. And I'm going to cook this slowly while we're doing the recipe. Very, very slowly, okay? I want to make sure the onion release all of their flavors. The blueberry release their uh, fruit. So it's going to take a little while to cook, and we've got plenty of time. Let's now get going with the duck, okay? So here we go, folks. We have um, um, uh, a breast of duck. Normally, you keep the, the skin for certain on a duck breast, right? And if you've seen my video, if you've seen my video, uh, let me move this out of the way. 
If you've seen the video on uh, duck breast, I score them, and then I sear them in a pan, and I, I cook a medium rare, and I say it's a different presentation. If you want to just do a plain duck breast, check out the video we have right there. Check out the link, and you'll be able to do to check it out. All right, friends? So now what we're going to do, we're going to remove the skin. And this, like I say, this is really, really a special presentation, so we don't need the skin because I'm going to wrap... The duck, believe it or not, friends, let me get it from this side. It's usually easy. There you go. Um, the uh, Yeah, I'm going to wrap the breast, friends, with bacon. So I don't need the duck fat. I'm going to get the bacon fat. <laughs> Trust me, this is going to be good. This is like a, a fancy little meal. Then... Um, I'm going to make it easy, but there's a lot of prep. You know, I made a chutney right there, friends, with, uh, with the shallots and, uh, and the butter. And uh, let me just put this. Oh, no, I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put this in the fridge right now. So in, uh, in the chutney, you'll find the recipe online, of course. But I got some uh, uh, blueberry in there. I got shallots. I got onion. Then I caramelize slowly and garlic. It's, it's like, like kind of a chutney also. We're going to put this inside as well. Eh? So if we look at the, the breast right here, friends, it's got a little fat right there. So I'm going to remove it a little bit. A little bit of the silver skin right there. But we don't worry too much about this. It'll melt. You'll never even know it's in there, right? So don't worry about it too much. What we're going to do now, we're going to take the, um, the slicer. And we're going to slice it in half. And I wanted to, it it's goes the same for chicken, eh? Same deal for chicken here, friends. If you notice, in the breast, you got a straight side and you got a rounded side. What we're going to do, we're going to cut it and we're going to open it up like a book. You, of course, want to cut into the straight side, not the round side. Because if you did it that, then you'll have a big hole here and a big hole in the bottom. Okay? So, what we're going to do, we're going to go in there like this. And we're going to be very, very careful here, friends. Let's take our time. And when you slice like this, you want to go up and down. That's why it's important to have kind of a long knife, you see? Up and down, up and down, up and down. And you get to over there. And what you do, you just open it up like a book. You see? Right there. Boom. We're right open like a book, friends. You see? Pretty simple, right? Eh? So you see, I already did it right there, so I'm in pretty good shape. You see, right there, boom, 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 boom. All right, so now my breasts are ready. I'm just gonna pour them right in here. I'm gonna clean this table up. We're gonna get ready with the bacon. All right, and we're gonna ready, get ready to stuff the breast, friends. And now the bacon, I have it all lined up already. Let me make sure I don't forget nothing. You see, it's an intricate recipe, friends. There's a lot involved. Uh, but I got my, uh, my bacon on a um, cookie sheet so it's easier. I got it in a big piece of parchment paper so it makes it easy to move it around, you see? And what I did here, friends, very simple, eh? What I did is I put uh, uh, the bacon slices. You see, if you look at them, boom, 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 one on top of each other. This is the, and usually what you do, you calculate, let me lower this heat here. You calculate the width, very technically, the width of your, of your breast, and you go just a little bit over, and that's how many breasts you have, how many uh, slices of bacon you have, right? And then you take it like this, okay. So now we're ready to go, we're ready to stuff the breast then we have, by the way, one was already cut, that's why I added here. So what I did also, friends, is I took some uh, oh, spinach leaves that I already uh, uh, poached in, uh, in, in boiling water, and then I put them in ice water. See? Poached in boiling water, and then put them in ice water. Like I said, this is not the kind of thing that I know the kids are hungry when it's dinner, we're going to make them dinner. But you want to do it at a fancy little dinner party, you can make them in advance. That's the beauty, friends. All right? So now, so far, so good. Now, we are going to take breast number one. 
Breast number one. Oh, hey, you, come back over here. You see, I messed up. Breast number one. We'll leave it right there. And then I gotta wash my hands again. Take a little spoon. Put a little bit of salt in there. I don't want to go in the container with, um, with my salt because my hands have a little duck in there, you see, friends? I don't want to contaminate everything, you see? Right? A little bit of pepper in here. I'm just concerned about the sauce going a little too fast, so you know what I'm going to do, friends? I'm just going to take it and put it in this burner right here for now. Because this burner is much smaller, so I'm going to put it in here for a minute, okay? All right, so now that I have my, um, um, uh, uh, my duck in here, my uh, breast in here, I'm going to put the duck confit. And this is uh, a duck leg confit. And remember, there's a video on that right there. You can watch it. You can, well, we, we released the video how to do a duck leg confit. Or you can already buy it. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You can already buy it, all right? So you put your duck leg in here. Mount it. Boom, boom, boom. Right? And then we're going to take our um, uh, chutney. It's not complicated. It just takes time. I mean, it's, if you have everything ready in advance, it's really no big deal at all, friends. Now, in the middle of it, this looks like a potato. It's not. This is a Granny Smith apple. Then I took a Granny Smith apple, and I cut it. In, uh, and I sauteed them in, um, um, in butter with uh, salt and pepper. That's all I really did. It's pretty simple, right? And then what I'm going to do is put some more duck leg confit. If, they, if, you never, if you never had duck leg confit, my friends, yeah, because duck breast and duck leg are cooked at different temperature, you see? And uh, if you've ever never had a, 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 you should try, my friends, because it's really, really, really special. All right? It looks like we're in good shape. What do you think? I think we're in good shape. We're in good shape right there. All right, so now, friends, we're going to take our second breast, and put it right on top of it, right there. We're going to tuck it in, right? And now, let me go clean my hands again. Put a little salt and pepper. Let me get my, uh, uh, my spoon right there. Put a little bit of the pepper. Certainly nobody would do with my, with my fingers clean, but they're not exactly clean, so I don't want to contaminate my whole container right there. That's why I'm doing it like this. All right? Then we're going to close it again with our spinach. Now, the reason why I, uh, I cooked, uh, pre-cooked the spinach first is uh, so we lose all of the water and they stay nice and green, you see? And voila. That is that, my friend. So now we're going to close the whole thing, and we're going to put it in the oven and bake it. All right? Normally, I said a child could do I know a child cannot do, do this, okay? And if you have a child and can do that, send him to me, okay? Because you got a genius. So look, friends. That's it right there. Look, it's very simple, right, so far, right? I'm going to close it right there. You see, when you really demystify anything, it doesn't matter how complicated it may look when you really look at it. If we can do it, you can do it. Yeah, it might take you a little practice. It might take you some uh, serious prep, but you can do it. You can do it. You know, you can do anything. When it comes to cooking, friends, like I always say, you know, we're not rocket scientists. Uh, we're not brain surgeons. We're cooks. What we do is not complicated. If, if, if one of us can do it, you can do it too, okay? You may need to be taught. And that's what we're here for, to teach you, you see, to close it, close it, close it, and voila. I think we're in good shape here, friends. Yeah, I got one slice less. So now what do we do at this point? Well, what I would do when I was in, uh, in, in a restaurant business, or if I want to do it in advance for a dinner party, I wrap them, you see? 
I wrap them like this, and I refrigerate them. And then I'm ready to go. Until I'm ready to go in the oven. And when I'm ready to go to the oven, I take them, take it out of my package, and what was on the top in a minute ago, now it's going to be in the bottom. And if you look, friends, you see? See how beautiful that looks? And let me tell you, when I cut into this, friends, <laughs> you're going to wish you were here because it's really something. All right? That's it. We're going to cook it. We're going to leave it alone. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my hand one more time really quick because I want to touch my pepper meal. And I want to put some fresh pepper in there. And then uh, we're going to finish the sauce in a minute. All I'm going to do really with the sauce. Well, friends, we lost the microphone. Not a problem. I was just putting it in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. But be careful, some oven are hotter than others. All we want is some beautiful, crispy bacon. So, I'm going to finish the sauce. Not yet. I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. And uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it. And, uh, and, and that's it. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the plate. And uh, I'm going to slice it, and we'll serve it, and when it is here, it's beautiful. So we'll be back when this is beautiful golden brown, okay? Okay, friends, been about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Depends how you like it cooked, but 40 minutes is about right. So here it is. We're going to take it out. Oh, yes. So what I'm going to do now, friends, I'm going to take it out of the... Um, the cookie sheet, I'm gonna let it rest on my cutting board and I'm gonna finish the sauce, okay? I'm gonna finish the sauce. Let me get rid of some of the excess right there. And voila. And we're just gonna let it rest. I'm gonna take this out of the way so I don't burn myself with it. And we're gonna finish the sauce, friends. The sauce is, um, is uh, it needs to be strained, you see? We got all the, the, the shallots in there, all, all the berries in there, so I'm gonna, gonna take it. And uh, let me come back over here, okay? Let me just get a spatula so that I'm ready. Holy mama mia. And um, this is a perfect uh, reduction. You know, reduction is not always appropriate, you know? Reduction is when we reduce liquid. And um, we concentrate flavor, so this is a perfect kind of a reduction because obviously there's no more than um, uh, two or three serving here, and that's perfect, you know. If you're making a big quantity of sauces, then uh, reduction is not the right way to get to the right consistency, okay? And um, we we'll make sure we get rid of all the solids. We don't need any of this. we we'll get rid of them. And right there, my friends, Look at this. Look how beautiful that is, friends. Look at this. Let me get a, a ladle. Actually, you know what? It's not shining yet the best that it can. Um, so I added some salt and pepper when you were watching. And look at this. Look how beautiful that is, friends. Look at this. See? Look how beautiful that is. It's just a reduction. That's all it is. It's just a reduction. <laughs> and then, and then you know, it's gonna make it really special, friends. Is uh, is the little butter. Now remember, ooh, when you put the butter in there, friends, whisk it in, okay? Whisk it in. Don't let it separate it so it's nice and whole butter in there. We don't have a a oily butter. We have a creamy butter. And right there, friends. This, this sauce right there is, uh, you gotta rub it all over your body. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like, uh, this is gorgeous, see? We're, we're just gonna put this in the bottom of the plate. Now, when I used to serve this uh, at the restaurant, I used to put like a rutabaga mash with it and uh, even complicated the recipe even more. Look at this, friends. Look at this. Is that? This is a perfect picture of a reduction. You see? All we did was just reduce it to the right consistency, and we add a little bit of the liaison with just plain butter to completely uh, amazing consistency. So let's see what do we have here, friends, with our uh, uh, duck right there. You can let it rest a little bit. 
Uh, doesn't need to be resting that much of it, uh, but I think it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I think it's going to be beautiful. I know it's going to be beautiful. Look at this, friends. Okay, for those of you that eat duck, you know you're not supposed to eat duck breast well done. You can eat it well done. You can eat anything well done, really. But they're much more tender, much more flavorful, friends. See, and all you do right there, you put a little bit of sauce in the bottom, friends, of your plate. Very little, okay? Now, this is delicate, my friends. We're not going that uh, putting a... Putting a sauce all over the place, and we're not doing this, friends. We're just going like this, very simple. And uh, and we're just gonna take this. I just want to make sure I don't have, look at gorgeous that is. And for for the, the the duck enthusiasts there, they're gonna just absolutely love it. This is uh, cooked beautiful to like 145. And all you do, my friends, is you take it right there. And um, now remember the the herbs herbs uh, that was. Uh, 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 flavored the most is the taigo, and I just like to put a little bit of reminder for my guest that taigo is the star of the show. So you just go like this, my friends, right there. You put it right there on the side. You put it wherever you want. My taigo is not exactly the most pretty one, but here it is, my friends. And I'm just gonna leave that plate alone, but I am gonna test it because I absolutely love this dish. Right there, look how gorgeous that is. And I'm telling you, this, this friends, this is gonna melt in my mouth. Melt, literally, literally. Oh, mmm, you know, mmm, mmm. This is wonderful. The chutney brings a little sweetness. The, uh, the duck is cooked to perfection. The bacon crispy on the top, it's gorgeous. My friends, I hope you make this recipe. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up. If you like that recipe, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic videos.